sure they actually mean it this time. Oh, hello there. I'm Ursha von Dressingown, probably dressing like a twat, just on the off chance that you actually take me seriously. Well, it's election time again. <laughs> it feels like only last year we were in the midst of a chaotic election. <laughs> The dark times still persist in the memories of those who are allowed to lift it. But there seems to be a lot of people who are talking down the Labour candidate Jeremy Corbyn. They say that it's hopeless. There's no way that this old codger could possibly win. <laughs> Not with such a weak argument like actually giving a shit. But to those people I say, God swallow. Saying that it's all hopeless, that you're just throwing your vote away? <laughs> no, 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 no. How soon we forget. Now we must never forget the dark times. Let me tell you of a story of a man who they said couldn't win. A young man named Donald Trump. Young Donny was an idiot. A fool. Debatably retarded. A man who was under the delusion that a war would not only prevent drug crime within his country, but also somehow expected Mexico to foot the bill. A man who doesn't know the difference between his own delusions and actual science. They said he couldn't win. He said it was impossible, that it was a fool's dream. <laughs> but that fool did dream. And you know what? That fool won. Yes, the man who made ludicrous promises, just short of promising to replace the water and drinking fountains with champagne, actually beat a rigged system and won. They said it was impossible. Said they couldn't do it. But he did. Want to know why? Because some dreams are worth following. Because we live in a world where a complete idiot, a ridiculous buffoon, a man of such mind-numbing idiosity, that he actually thinks that he can make an investigation into himself stop by firing the guy in charge. <laughs> How's that going for you, Danny? A rampant moron of such an embarrassing degree, to the extent that I actually refuse to use the words Trump and president in the same sentence together. That's literally the first time that I've actually used Trump and president together. Just that was the second. But the ordering is always supposed to be. You never put president before his name. You thought I was going to catch myself outward there, didn't you? What I'm saying is, keep dreaming. Keep hoping. Keep fighting. Stay strong in your beliefs. Because if we live in a world where a complete idiot can be elected president, that truly anything is possible. Now you'll excuse me. I'm gonna get shit faced and sample some more bullshit. <laughs> hmm. An unstable coalition government. Where have I heard that before?